My name is Aaron Lazenby, Editor-in-Chief of Profit, Oracle's quarterly journal of business and technology. And I'm here today with Daryl Shabesta. Thank you for joining us here today. Pleasure. Thank you. The telecommunications industry is rapidly changing, uh, lots of dynamics uh, in the marketplace. What does it take from IT to support uh, the, the human resources elements, you know, getting the right people in place to be able to capitalize on those uh, opportunities in the marketplace? Yeah, you're correct. I mean, it is a dynamic marketplace and BT itself has evolved in the last few years. Our purpose is to create a better world through the power of communications. And that, that really defines a strategy, which is get into broader and deeper insight into customers. And there's really three areas that we focus on strategically to do that. Customer experience, cost transformation, and investing for growth. But at the core of that is, is people developing talent, bringing in new talent, uh, enabling people. And that's really at the core of what we're doing from the HR transformation. Oracle's long been uh, a provider of HR technology for BT. Mm -hmm. What's changed in the in the marketplace or in, within the company that uh, to to guide your business or your organization to look at cloud, moving away from on-premise towards cloud to help uh, br to create the right environment for the, the for HR and for the employees at BT. Yeah, Oracle is a strategic partner of BT, particularly in and HR. We've used PeopleSoft on-premise for a number of years now, and. Uh, you know, like most telcos of the size and complexity of BT, we operate in 170 countries, 90,000 people, 150,000 if you include third parties. With the advent of cloud and the maturity of that product set, it really allow now allows us to leverage the new kind of technologies and new capabilities. And it, it really is that maturing actually in the marketplace. And, uh, you know, if you do a comparison of what we've developed in, in PeopleSoft compared with Fusion HCM, for example, which is the product or the service we're taking from Oracle, there's a good match. Um, so as I say, the maturity is there and uh, it really enables us to scale, move at speed and gives us the flexibility that we need rather than trying to do it all ourselves, which, you know, with all the issues that's created in the past. Some of the core concerns actually is data privacy and security and we've worked extensively with, uh, with Oracle to develop things such as end-to-end -end encryption you know, to secure that. And Oracle is a strategic partner of ours. So, you know, the, we treat Oracle data centers as our own. Um, and, you know, we've worked extensively between the two security departments to, uh, to make sure that, you know, we, we match the requirements that we have. What kind of strategies did you need to put in place as a CIO to get that data, to get those processes applied to the cloud? What was that transformation, that transition from on-premise to cloud like for you as a CIO? Well, we, we did a lot of work up front to compare the capabilities of uh, Fusion HCM with PeopleSoft, and there was you know, a high 90% match in terms of capabilities. How has it changed your IT processes when you look at how you manage IT, um, how you deploy your staff, um, and how you plan for the future? How, how has cloud changed your job? Um, it, my, my job's becoming much more closely aligned with the business and uh, I, I'm a big believer in putting as much capability and tooling, if you like, in the hands of the user to take IT in inverted commas out, out, of, the, uh, out of the equation. What are you hearing back from HR about you know, the, what the platform's doing for them, what it's doing for employees, you know, how, that impact, how it's impacting the organization? Well, it's, it's giving the capabilities to the employees to do what we need them to do, which is uh, speed up, uh, increase productivity, uh, to meet the kind of accelerating pace of the marketplace and our end, our end customers. So some of the things that we're able to provide that we weren't in the past is you know analytics and reporting uh, I'll give you give you some examples you know we we what we when we analyzed what our HR business partners did 40 43 percent of the time was spent on repetitive tasks now you know we've we've managed to massively reduce that by putting the right technology in place it's also enabled us to change the nature of HR into a more shared service center and self-help approach so it's given HR the opportunities to really focus their talent and skills in you know their expertise uh, in where it's needed rather than this sort of repetitive tasks which we're giving people the tools to do themselves such as reporting etc. How does the ex employee experience changing as a result of the of the deployment? We've deployed Taleo for, recru uh, for recruiting and uh, that's been very 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 positively received. Um, in about six months' time, we'll be deploying Fusion HCM to the employees. The ones that have seen it really like it. Um, because of uh, the nature of PeopleSoft 
and the age of it and the fact that we've bespoke it, there's a lot of frustration with it. It's very difficult to navigate. It's not very intuitive. Um, I think, based on the feedback, that it'll be very positively received. In fact, some of the initial feedback is that it's very, very modern looking, which is important. Um, very intuitive and therefore great for employee engagement, uh, giving them the tools they need to, to do the job. How do you think that's going to impact uh, you know, BT's ability to go to market? I think with with engagement becomes motivation and pace, and you know, and uh, it allows people to rather than get bogged down in doing some of the day-to-day -day bureaucratic things that, and navigating around the internal systems that historically may have done. It frees them up to actually do what we employ them to do, which is serve our customers. Uh, going back to you know what I said at the start, how do we deeply embed customer experience? And in fact, part of the transformation is implementing um, an academy, uh, um, an academy for uh, developing people, which uh, very much leverages social media and uh, gives people expert information at the point of need. You know, what were the challenges you had to face in terms of IT or business process that you know that you guys had to overcome to get the, the solution into place? So we, being a, um, a quite a large, complex organisation and around for a few years, we've got a, a large amount of legacy systems. So the the, the key challenge for, for ourselves has been how do you integrate the new environment into the old so you can coexist to allow us to migrate. So that's one challenge. Uh, the other challenge is uh, data the whole world of data really data privacy also data migration um, we've got a l we've got a lot of data a lot of legacy and uh, you know there's some of the key challenges kind of plumbing if you like the new infrastructure into the old and then migrating the data across um, and I think those probably are the biggest challenges that we've uh, we've addressed so far in terms of advice uh, for people taking this on I think for me um, it's absolutely essential that there's good partnership working with, with your business partners. It's absolutely essential that there's good change control and governance surrounding that. And it's absolutely essential that, you know, you have great partnerships, and I mean true partnerships with, uh, you know, your suppliers. So in this case, Oracle. Uh, and I have to say, um, you know, it's seamless as far as uh, we're concerned. And that is one of the fundament fundamental success factors to this kind of, uh, this kind of program. Well, again, thank you very much for taking the time to join us here today, Daryl, and we're looking forward to seeing you next year at Open World. Great, thank you very much.